I'm Edwin Land, chairman of the board of the Polaroid Corporation. The beginning of a new science, art, and industry, the era of immediately visible living images is now at hand. Step is the simplest camera in the world. You don't have to focus or anything. I thought this was the simplest camera in the world. That was, this is. Wait, I just snapped the shutter. I've got a picture. Where? Well, I've got to get it developed. And I just press this button. The motor hands me the picture, and I see it in minutes. It's pretty, but mine's just as simple up to when the picture comes out. What kind of logic is that? Mine? Doesn't make any sense. You mean you don't understand. Get the one step. The beginning of video brought visions of nothing less than new life to the artists who used it. it transformed consciousness, a revolution in human relations. And a technologically endorsed evolution would soon be possible by the democratic proliferation of cameras that could give instant feedback on how we live. Instant reflection, a new creativity of self, the possibility of injecting dramaturgy into everyday life. All these possibilities I prefigured long before the advent of video. The Polaroid one-step process brought instant art to the world. But I tell you, Mom, these pictures just better come out. I can't wait for you to get them developed. <laughs> brought to you instantly by my new Polaroid One Step. The SX-70 becomes like a part of you as it slips through life effortlessly. Photography's capture of the world, its aggression, its leveling of social reality to physically and chemically equal objects, has been criticized, of course. Its mechanical reproduction of life has all but destroyed art and makes light of spiritual depth. But for Land, the destiny of machine art was never set. The immediacy of early television was a perfect way to advertise the camera. On Steve Allen, sometimes the Polaroids didn't even come out, but that didn't prevent us from becoming the first major network-level sponsor in the mid-50s. What most compels me, though, were the later Garner-Hartley commercials for the SX-70. Their casualness, the witty repartee, the sexual tension brought a new candidness to TV advertising. And while the SX-70 did not give an accurate picture of sex in the 70s, it was an emblem of my belief in the machinic reformation of human relations. A new kind of relationship between people and groups is brought into being by SX-70. It turns out that buried within us there's a latent interest in each other. It turns out in this cold world that we have a yen for and a primordial competence for a quiet, good-humored delight in each other. We have a prehistoric tribal competence for non-physical, non-emotional, non-sexual satisfaction in being partners in the lonely exploration of one's empty planet. Is it magic that our magic device and its technological innocence appears on the scene suddenly as an invaluable instrument for discernment of prehistoric bonds to each other? Meet the swinger. The Polaroid swinger. Meet the swinger. Camera, it's almost alive. It's only $19.95. Swing it up. 
it says yes, take a shot, count it down, zip it off. Before the magical instantaneity of the one step and the feedback loops of video experienced widespread popularity, the Super 8 reigned supreme in the family's sensorium of self-representation. Super 8 was a medium which gave the impression of a once upon a time, a fantasy with movement and no sound. Waiting for the film to be processed resembled waiting for reality to be distilled into ethereal shadows. It indeed took time for the family to be transformed from, from a battleground into a wondrous play of movement and light and the ideal, an escapist medium. Polaroid, in contrast, is the realization of an impulse. See it, touch it, have it. What you're seeing now is a particularly lively dog recorded by the new Polavision Instant Film Process. This animal was a particular favorite of our lab researchers, and as you can see, he has a winning personality. The dog has since passed on. This is a rather miraculous cassette. It's part of a new mechanism for relating to life and to each other. But Mr. Land, how will Polavision affect the long-range profitability of Polaroid? I mean, what's the bottom line? The only thing that counts is the bottom line. What a presumptuous thing to say. The bottom line is in heaven. Mm -hmm.